Hi YouTube, Lee Culver here from Lee Culver Hair Design. Just doing a follow up video on the products that I use in my salon to give you an understanding of what I use and why I use it and what effects I get. And also we're gonna talk about the four rules of color. You've come to step four, choosing your developer. Why do you choose a developer? What is it going to do to the tint? Is it gonna get the achieved look? Is it going to work, basically? How many levels of lift do I need to get? You need to put the power in it. The power comes from the peroxide and the developer. So you've got your lowest would be your five volt, 1.5%. You wouldn't get any lift with this. This would just stay the same level and add tone to the hair, add color. If you're adding color or staying the same level, this is what you'd use. On a, on a semi per this is to only use with a semi-permanent color. So you'd have a quasi color that goes with that. The next generation, 537, as long as she was a level of a five and below, you're, you're cooking on gas. If she was a, um, a six, you would still add tone to the hair. So it would go to, it would darken the hair down. You're only gonna darken the hair, you're not gonna lighten it, you can't, it's impossible. So then from that, you've got the matrix, color sink, 2.7%, nine volume. That's used with this, this little beauty here. It's very nice for adding tone on tone, toning down bleached hair, and adding a colour. You're not going to do anything but add colour to the hair. You can't lighten the hair with, with a semi-permanent or a quasi colour. It will start to lighten the hair, as in it will change, the, it will alter the permanent state of the hair permanently. So you will get a regrowth with it. But it will be very subtle. That's that. And you won't really be able to cover any grey hair with, with a quasi colour. It will mask it, it won't cover it. Don't care what anyone tells you. You've got your temporary colours. So you've got crazy, crazy colour and you've got Indola Foam Mousse. That one's red, that one's blue. These are just deposit colours. You don't need to mix anything with these. They come directly from the bottle. You're not benefiting if you start mixing peroxide with it. I've seen people on YouTube do that. There is no point. You are wasting your time and your money. But you still keep doing it. Carry on. <laughs> Fill your boots. Then you've got your permanent tints. These are the permanent tints for the So Colour Beauty. These are mixed with 10, 20, 30 or 40 volume, depending on the effect you're going for. Certain tints, again, the rules change. You wouldn't mix them with certain peroxide. You wouldn't mix a six copper with 40 volt. There's no point. You would just burn out the tone. You'll end up with a, a defunct colour. It won't work. It won't do what you're trying to do. 30 volt maybe. If the hair was very dark and you wanted to get really coppery, really gingery, Remember, you're lifting. As you start lifting the hair, you're lifting out the underlying pigment from the hair. So if you add a copper and you want it to go copper, put it with 30 volt. Make it go really, really bright and brassy. That's what you want. That's what you want to achieve. So that's your permanent tints. So again, you've got 10 volt. That's 3%. That's for adding tone and going darker. 20 volt, 6%. That's for going... Stay in the same level, add in grey coverage. So for your 500 series, these are brilliant with Matrix. They will cover 100% white hair and they can be mixed with any other tone. Depends on what, you, what the achieved look is going to be. But you can only mix these with 20 volt. Nothing lower, nothing higher. There's no point, it won't work. Grey coverage, I'm going to do a video on that. It's very interesting. But most brands, 20 volt is your champion. There's one you need to go to. 20 volume peroxide and your extra coverage series. So that's that, you've got 30 volt. Now you're starting to lighten the hair, you're lifting out underlying pigment, you're boosting the color, you're lightening, you're bringing it all up. And you're not bringing it up from the ground, you're bringing up all the reds, the oranges, the golds, the gingers. 30 volt, you'd get two, two and a half, maybe three shades of lift. It will just go gingery, it's only gonna lighten the hair but not too much. So you're not gonna get a fantastic lift unless the client walks in with very, very light hair. But that might be what the client asked for. So two to maybe three shades lift with 30 volt. 40 volt is the strongest peroxide you've got. And you would mix that usually with a high lift tint blonde. So you wouldn't really use that with a normal tint. There would be no point because you would be going to the next step. The next step would be a high lift tint blonde or an ultra light blonde. That's ultralight natural plus. So the ultralight is the determine the colour. That is the level. 
So it's, it's maximum in the matrix range. And the N plus means it's a natural looking color. And the plus, it just, it, it controls a bit of the warmth. The high lift tint blondes are violet based. They're not ash based. Even if they say they're ash, they are more violet based. That's the confusion. Again, I'll do a whole video on that. But high lift tint blondes, again, you can only use them on a level of a six and above. Anything below, you're wasting your time because it will just be gingery and it won't be the right tone and the client won't be very happy. So you need to select, once you've selected your client's depth that she walks in with, the depth she wants to walk out with, then you select your colour. And if the high lift tint blonde is correct, if you, you are happy to use that, then you'd use two parts of that to one part of that. The reason you do it that way around, with high lift tint blondes, they're going on the scale, they're very strong. The two parts of the peroxide will add more oxygen to the colour makes it more comfortable for the client and it also gives it a, a slower lift but a more controlled lift so that's your high lifting blondes you've got your highlighting red colors so you've got matrix so red red violet so it's a so red color and it just happens to be a red violet tone and then you've got magic contrast and that's red rouge magenta very similar that's more red than that that's more red violet and they, they can be used on their own with 30 20, 30, maybe 40 volume, depending on the underlying pigment. The hair has to be a level of a six and below to get an optimum result. You can use it on a seven, but you'll get pink hair. Some clients like pink hair. I've got a client that I do this, use this on, and she likes the effect it goes to a pink. That's just her. That's the way she likes it, and she, you know, she's paying. So we've tested her hair and made sure it was correct. So there you highlight and tint. Matrix. These can be used with the tint. They can be used on their own or as a booster. Only up to a quarter of the working mixture can be this colour. So you can't use half and half. You couldn't use that half in that tint and then 5RR because it'd be too strong on the scalp. Off the scalp on a highlighting foil, great. Yeah, you can get away with it. So there's your highlighting reds. Again, videos will follow of each one. I'll go into depth. Then you've got your lightening creams. These are brilliant. This mesh, you mix that with the powder, and then you mix it with 30 or 40 volt to get your lift. And this, that will lighten tint. Tint won't lighten tint on its own, but powders and bleaches will. And then you've got your powder bleach. This can be used on the scalp as long as it with 20 or 30 volume. I would err on the side of caution. 20 volume, mix it up to manufacturer's instructions, and you'll lift it up to a pale yellow. These are excellent for on the scalp and for highlighting effects. So, they're the colours I use. Hopefully, made a bit of sense of that. I'm going to go into depth into doing videos on everything so that I go into depth. I'm just trying to show you what I've got and I'm still learning how to use YouTube. So, thanks very much for listening. Please subscribe. See you later. Cheers. Bye.